All Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motor Workers Union inspect National Highway 37 in Falls Jiri Road. Road stretch found in pathetic condition despite of government's assurance to restore the highway. Transport Minister Kashim Mashum says state government has no plans to scrape vehicles older than 15 years in Manipur. Joint Students Coordination Committee burns down the Amar Chitra Katha comic books for misleading readers. JSCC says Indian independence movement and Manipur's freedom struggles are not related. Manipur logs 18 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and two COVID-related deaths in the last 24 hours. Coronavirus infects 1,39,490 people in the state till India adds 16,561 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 cases, 18,053 recoveries and 49 deaths in last 20 months. And Chief Minister Nongkuman Birain says the assimilation of the old peoples can be achieved only through inculcating the idea of nation first. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Prime Time, the English Bulletin. I'm Kanal Sambandaram with you. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your marks properly and maintain a safe distance from one another. Please remember that the fight against the COVID-19 is not over yet. Now, the news in details. Old Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motor Workers Union inspected the National Highway No. 37 in Fald Jiri Road. Speaking on the sideline, General Secretary of Old Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motor Workers Union, Dan Anil, took a jibes on the Manipur government's earlier announcement to develop the Infald Jiri Road to the levels of facilitating even flight lending. During the inspection, the union found the road in pathetic condition with multiple need deep potholes causing diff difficult for commuters and truck carrying heavy loads. He further drew the attention of the government to the plights of the drivers while commuting along the highway. Transport Minister Kashim Vasum, the state state government, has no plans to scrape vehicles older than 15 years, despite of the central government's vehicle scrappage policy. Speaking to media at the old Secretariat office in Babapara, Imphal, Minister Kashim Vasum explained that vehicles older than 15 years can get relaxation till 20 years after successfully going through fitness tests. Considering the effect on the environment and its pollution by unfit and old vehicles. The plans to scrap these vehicles are being discussed by transport department but it has not been brought up to cabinet level. So as to come up with a scrapping policy in the state, he further said that the department is also monitoring the issue caused by old buses, school vans and old trucks currently plying on the roads of Manipur. While speaking while seeking support from public in coping with the problem, the minister also emphasized on the government's plan to popularize a more eco-friendly e-vehicles and e-rickshaws in the state. And for that, the government has exempted e-vehicles and e-rickshaw from taxes and registration fees. Minister Kashim Vasum asserted that the government is also working towards converting the buses into CNG-run buses. He also gave assurance to look into the issue of the vehicle customers in regard to dealer point registration. The minister also urged people to not to interfere with works and projects undergoing under, undertaken by the transport department. 
Umbrella body of MSU, MSF, KSA and SUK Joint Students Coordination Committee JSCC made it clear that the Indian independence movement and Manipur's freedom struggle were not related, strongly condemning the inclusion of the Pona Brajabasi on a collection of stories called Trivial Leaders of the Freedom Struggled in popular comic book series Amar Chitra Katha. JSCC volunteers bent down Amar Chitra Katha comic books published by Amar Chitra Katha Private Limited. JSCC also imposed a ban on selling of books published by Amar Chitra Katha Private Limited in the state. Speaking to media today at KSA head office in the Kuyatong, Imphal, JSCC convener as Vidyananda said MSU, MSF, KSA and SUK will never accept with Amar Chitta Katra portraying Pona Bajabasi as a warrior of India's freedom struggled. He alleged that the publisher for misinforming the readers and disrespecting the virtues of our ancestors. JSCC said any books published by Amar Chitra Katra Private Limited will not be allowed to sell in the state until and unless Amar Chitra Katra Private Limited apologize to the people of Manipur and rectify the mistake. JSCC also appeals to bookshops owners in the state not to sell books published by Amar Chitra Katha Private Limited. Tribal leaders of the freedom struggle Kova comic book Amada Pona Brazava CSC Tribal Diagi Freedom Struggle Reserve Yakiva Tribal Leaders Amani Haina Panduna Akogi Puari C. Yamna Masian Marang Munga the Puna number Ponaram Kivani, who we pipe pushing Aduna, I ten ninety one Yang Nomani Pulanda, Tawana Ponta Pikiva, Duga Makuina Levaki, Ning Tamanga, and we get among the Eka Kiva, Dugi Mamala Dugu, Kaisu like the Kanma Munga, in the Agri Freedom Struggle Gamari Lena Handuna, Mani Pumiambu Karim, Navi Munga, Suma Satra Potonga CSC, Sina, Kanma Munga, I could condemn Tawi, Amar Sitra Kata Private Limited Highway. Company Asina, Manipur Miam, the Lala Henny Sing Doga, the Vinny, Lavishing House, Asina Pong, but like Makalamata, Manipur Desu, you and Madame Madu, Marina, I think, but Tamsare. Clubs and organizations in the Oinam, the area of Vishnupur district, warned of launching stir and Manipur government fails to book old perpetrators who are involved in the death of the Oinamd Mamang Lekai resident Thongamd Ibo Halbi within 14th of August. Locals resolved to launch tear during a meeting convened at the residence of Adelaide Ibo Halbi. Speaking to media, son of Ibo Halbi Dinesh said that his mother Mai Pakpi was rushed to the rims after she got unconscious on the 2nd of August and his father who worked for the 5th Manipur Rifles was on duty at Tamilong's district's Gong Jarong when Mai Pakpi got ill. Dinesh maintained that Ibo Halbi was informed that his mother's health condition was critical. Dinesh further said that as requested by his father, the next day he sent the medical reports and paperwork to his father so that he could take leave. However, Ibo Halbi failed to return home. Dinesh added his mother passed away on the 9th of August and family members have been suddenly informed that Ibo Halbi died this afternoon. Dinesh demanded the state government to take action against all officers concerned for allegedly giving mental harassment to Ibo Halbi and subsequently leading his sudden demise. Hang in a morning, so the baby, the woman, Karikino, the other land of Venati, who manipulated land of Venati, state key force, central, central force, Venati, as a manipulated labor, for his state force, the young Napoli, my UP, family, if anyone could don't even have a matam. She mocked the Sudi Vimpe, Patunda, or the Rampa Musiamna, Masi, a Mutan Kensen Buhina, I already went Hazari. 
Graduate Teachers Promotion Demand Committee of Old Manipur Primary Teachers Hindi Primary Teachers slams the order issued by Administrative Office of Education Department on primary teachers needing to secure a 50% in graduate courses and completing a BA in order to get promoted to graduate teacher. The demand committee has warned of launching stir if the order is not revoked within 16th of August. Speaking to media today at the Manipur Pensioners Union in Pisumthong Imphal, committee chairman Navrem Devjani said Education Department ought to abide by the the rules and regulations of 2016 of service recruitment and 1995 service recruitment in the promotion process of primary teachers. One police personnel and four VDF personnel of the Moray Police were injured as the highway patrolling vehicles they were travelling met with an accident in a stretch between Imakondon Larambi and Moray College at around 11 a.m. today. The injured are police personnel the Thangkholand Haukit, the driver of the vehicle, BDF personnel the Let Kojin Kongsoi, Mayang Lambam Inau, Nongthombam Naubi and the Kelambam Tomcho. According to driver, the accident occurred as the bulletproof Tata Sumo bearing registration number MN01Z0035 suffered brake failure while returning from highway protection duty. They were immediately rushed to Moray Subdivisional Hospital for treatment. Later, a team led by OC of Moray Police Station Anand visited the injured personnel at the hospital. A team of narcotic and FAS of the border police arrested a person with suspected 550 grams of heroin powder from Hata Golapati Maning Lekai at around 1 p.m. today. The arrested person is 24-year-old Muhammad Hanif Ahmad Sand of Harij Ali, originally from Technopolis District's Moray Ward No. 5 the Muslim Nagar Labuk Lekai, currently residing at Hata Golapati Maning Lekai. He was caught with the heroin during a check carried out at Hatagolapati Maninglaikai. A mobile phone along with an Aadhaar card was also recovered from the person. A case has been registered against Muhammad Hanif. A joint team of Vishnupur police and 16 Assam rifles successfully arrested Irom Chinkai Nganba Meite from Arong River Bank near Athokpam Jr. High school after he escaped from the lockup of Vishnupur police station on the intervening night of July 12 and July 13. 27 year old Iromd Chinkai Nganba Meite, son of the I Brajin from the Tangjing Sabalt Maning Lekai, was accused in a POXO related case and was kept in Vishnupur police locked up before he escaped. He was re-arrested last evening at around 7 by the police team led by additional SP operations Roni Mayang Lambam and PS. Under the supervision of SP of Vishnupur and Hirojit, arrested Chinkai Nganba was later handed over to Vishnupur police station for further legal actions. Governor of Manipur, Laganeshan, in a press note conveyed greeting on the occasions of Patriots' Day observation. While acknowledging the supreme sacrifice made by braved martyrs of Manipur in anglo manipuri War of 1891, the governor urged all to pledge to stand and fight as one against all those who challenge the freedom and integrity of the nation, irrespective of caste, creed and religion. On the occasions of Patriots' Day tomorrow, Chief Minister Nong Thombambirind joins the people of Manipur in paying homage to our 
fallen heroes. Press release from the chief minister says Patriots Day is observed every year on 13th of August in memory of our brave patriots who laid down the alive in the anglo manipur War of 1891 and two brave sons of Manipur, the Kendrajit Singh and Thangal generals who face the gallows uh, valiantly on this very day. And Viren stress on standing as one, rising above all differences and defining and defending the state from the various divisive forces. Minister Yumnam Kim Chand, Textiles Minister Nem Cha Kivikent, Minister Wang Gung Nyomai, Minister Vishwa Jeet Thongam, and Mayang Imfald MLA Kongkham Robindra also conveyed warm greeting to the people of Manipur on the occasions of Patriots Day 2022 tomorrow. Manipur aided 18 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and two COVID-related deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Rooms, coronavirus has affected 1,39,490 people. Active and recovered cases have not been updated to the time of filing this report. Well, now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We will be back with details after the break. Until then, keep watching Impact News. Presto personalized wonders. Impal the nauna hangdok chere. Hairi basida personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba potlam sing. Mafa masi da phangi gani. Nasi maglang sing birau. Tilakras enterprises. Presto Tangal Bazaar near Kasturi Tong Impal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Primetime, the English Bulletin. India added 16,561 new COVID-19 cases, 18,053 recoveries and 49th death in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cash load stands at 1,23,535. Total recoveries are 4 crore 35,73,094. Recovery rate stands at 98.53%. That total reaches at 5 lakh 26,928 over 207 crores 47 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 59 crore 34 lakh 89,000 people. It has claimed above 64 lakh 49,000 people and recoveries are above 56 crore 55 lakh 4,000. United States of America has the highest active cases of above 38 lakh 72,000 in the world. Chief Minister Nautamon Birend says the assimilation of all peoples can be achieved only through inculcating the idea of nation first and by abstaining from communal and spiritual ideas. The Chief Minister said this while attaining the prize distribution ceremony of the Mega Marathon 2022 organized by BJP Manipur Pradesh at Kumalam Park Indoor Stadium as part of India's 75th Independence Day celebration. BJP State President A. Sarada also attended the closing program. While distributing certificates and cash prize to winners and participants of the Mega Marathon, Chief Minister Nongtuman Birain further expressed that the marathon run would spread the message of the united and strong India among people. Meanwhile, in the women's category of the Mega Marathon 2022, H. Bhumeshwari from the Mayang Imphal currently training under Sports Authority of India, SAI Imphal, back the first position. She received a crest prize of rupees 1 lakh along with a certificate. And the men's category, H. Ngao Pulo from the Senapati came first and he also received a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees. Two boys aged under 15 years were also awarded for successfully completing the rest. All the remaining runners up of the marathon who finished till the 15th position were awarded with cash prize as well.
Zeni belum jenis, acam belum jenis tu. Tari boh mando, acam belum tu. Madu tu ki piri boh mesej se, ekta Bharat, apun boh Bharat tu magi, akan boh Bharat tu magi. Ekoi Bharat pasi, amat tani hai boh mesej. Bharat imagi tu mukti ekoi lay hai boh mesej. Masjuwa hongi firan iman angi tu mukti ekoi lay hai boh mesej tu ni ke sebab ni pilih. Ekoi ida, tongga, singli ida, izati nungsi magi. Earlier this morning, Chief Minister Nong Thom Birin flagged off the Mega Marathon 2022, which was participated by over 2,000 runners from the Maibam Lot Hilt. YAS and Work Minister Govindas Kontau Jumped, Mahud Minister Yumnam Kemp John, Education, Law and Legislative Affairs Minister. Thaunau Jamt Vasanth Kumar, Medical Health and Family Welfare, IPR Minister Dr. Sapamth Ranjant, Tribal Affairs and Hills Department, Minister Litbao Haukip were among the eminent persons who attended the flagging of ceremony. Partners of the party, the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Ahan Dada, Lahir tu sih macam mana ba? Maya makin lagi jadi apa? Lahir makin jadi apa? School tak makin jadi apa? Sarah hidup. Sat, jadi apa? Maya pun maksim. Various schemes ni ada beberapa tu barat pun ada. Sat mana tu thong? Bukan tu apa kan? Maha thong ini. Padahal sebab parti yang di sekarang ada pulga, orang di tiada upaya kerja. Apa pun tu barat sangat pergi. Sakti, thong ada ikut ni. Apa pun. Lain mana? Muda mana suruh pergi paling nasi dah. Nanti pun dia yang bukna, dia ubi dana. Jadi aku pun berbaharat pun masih agak pada, akan berbaharat pun masih agak pada. Macam yang orang view. Pre Harvest Festival of Tangkul Communities Somkhab Fanet was celebrated at Gangpokpi District's Hongma Tangkul Village today at. Kongbal Tangkul Community Hold. As part of the program, people lighted candles on the tomb of 2nd MP of the Manipur's Rungsung Saiza, who was also the leading figure of Tangkul Community, followed by tree plantations around the memorial complex of the late MP. Speaking on the occasion, to cruel to MLA Ram Tumuiva assured his continuous commitment towards ensuring a peaceful and harmonious environment for various communities inhabiting the state, conveying his Greeting on the occasion of some carved fanet, Ramt Muiva wish the people a good harvest that ensure self sufficiency. Village chief of the Tang Kanfai village, Tang Khomd Mishao, president of Tangkult Nagalong, David Kashung, were also among others who attended the program. I always dream. Ekwe janji mayam si, nungai na lebay bis edi yam pami. Ato na ekwe nature na ishor na ekwe si purok pira bni na ekwe neighbor di ishor thousandi. Ato ekwe matung inga tapani. Manipuri gi koi di ariba itihas. Ekwe puya hai bato. Kongbal gi kokin na kong lab kong labadi nongpok thong hangani hai na puya di yawe hai. Ato na kongbal kongman si di thai di ariba kuni. State Central Library Imphal, along with Manipur Library Association, Mala, today observed the Library Day in honor of Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, father of library science. Speaking on the program, held at State Central Library in Nitepat Chitheg, Imphal, Chief Librarian R. K. Urmila drew attention of government to upgrade the State Central Library to modern standard. She expressed concern over students gradually undermining the importance of library. She said over 200 students visited the Central Library in Delhi and there are over 6,000 registered students who borrowed books from the library. However, the library faced many problems including shortage in staff and lack of infrastructure. Urmila added that many temporary staff are hired in order to meet the shortage. Director of Art and Culture Department, Eld Kisorjit, former librarian of the RIMS, Dr. N. Giridhar, President of the Mala, K. Chauba, were among others who attended the program. 
Libraries are like infrastructure, say, Kara Pagarani, automation Tony, libraries digitization Tony, Aujuji Central Library, Lady Bestaf, say, Official Hide only one, I Katangai, under Official the Yaudre, a quick great harm, Lady Matanga Duga, a staff say, Tripper, like a great for Suwale, a Degi Librarian Suwale, Assistant Librarian Lightre, Aduna, Queen of Togo Function Kudimata, I see a Sukimati one man army is a manare, reducing now Pamba Lyric, letter box to mail, you win a Pamba Lyric, Hyper or I go men that has a gay to Matunga Elena Monas again, Lady Bellari Shinji. Seventh Foundation Day of Manipur University of Culture was observed today at Iboyama Shumanglila Songlin in Palace Compound. Speaking on the occasion, the Vice Chancellor of the Manipur University of Culture, Professor P. Gunindro, said Manipur is known for excelling in both sports and culture, and there is a need to preserve the rich culture of the state through a university designated for culture. While pointing out the infrastructural limitation of the university, he also expressed hope to meet the shortage in the new main building of Cultural University, which is being constructed at Waka in Imphal East District. Eminent officials and various students of the university attended the program. Manipur is a sports <laughs> and culture. Manipur is a sports and sports and culture. Manipur is a 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 Manipur is a sports and culture. Manipur is a Pandamni, continuity of the contribution of our culture is here. Principal of Biramangal College, Dr. A. Surend Jeet, stressed on the need of concreted efforts in uprooting drug man egg and bringing a healthy society. Dr. Surend Jeet said this during the state level observance of the International Youth Day 2022, held today at the multi purpose hold of the Biramangal College in Imphal East District. The a uh, red ribbon club or CC Youth Red Cross Unit, NSS Unit of the Bidam Mongol College and Manipur State Ads Control Society jointly organized the event on the themed integra integrational solidarity, solidarity, creating a world for old ages. Speaking further, Surenjit also stressed on guiding students and youngsters on the right path and spreading the same message across the globe. <laughs> Society, she, a single society, a Mapoishi, Hagi Damokani, Masigi, Intelligent Degi, Lady River Timsina, Tapodi, a coy lady was Satan Satri Singshi, Tinjan Kajang, the Wakama, Joe Samaza Moshi, Quite the way the soup, drugs, a coy shinarishi, was it no Hundokishi, a single Samaza Moishi, drugs, Patraba, a Sumba, what she, a Mukana, a coy Satan Satri Sing, a Mudi people, Singer Masumba, Hadoxi, Hagasu. Horticulture and soil conservation to cruelty team sprayed insecticide criper methyrene using a rocket spray on stink beans or yongchak trees which are grown at the new to Somt village of Ukrul district. In connection with this district officer of horticulture and soil conservation to cruelty Yeti Kupsoreld. Koireng said the initiative was taken after getting report that more than 10,000 stink beans tree cultivated in the village are infested with unknown insects. The officer said spraying of insecticide on stink beans will resume shortly in New Tusomd village. One day capacity building program for women the traders of Jafal Bazaar was held today at NG Mono Mongsang Memorial to hold Jafal Bazaar in Chandled District. The program was organized by Manipur State Commission for Women under the supervisions of National Commission for Women. Speaking on the occasion, the chairperson of the Manipur State Commission for Women, Salam Ulka, 
emphasis on the importance of the financial independence as one of the main aspects of women empowerment. Additional Deputy Commissioner of Chandal District, Mohammad Firoj Khan, CEO ADC, Saimin Thang, Lan Thang, and others attended the program. Second OC of Ukrul Police Station, Sub-Inspectors Marchang Wung Mahai has been selected for Union Home Minister's Medal for Excellence and Investigation Award 2022. He is among the 151 police personnel from all over India who have been selected for this award, which is announced every year on 12th of August by Union Home Ministry. As part of India's 75th Independence Day celebration, the Kamakya Pamton College in Hyangthang organized a slogan writing competition on the themed Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahatsab and Har Ghar Diranga. Around 100 students from the college took part in the competition. A tricolor flag rally was also held as part of the program. Commemorating the 75th Azadika Amrit Mahatsab, students, teachers, and non teaching staff of Irilbung Government High School, Irilbung, celebrated Har Ghar Tiranga campaign today. Students and teachers sang the national anthem to mark the occasion. Group Center CRPF Langjing Infall today carried out. Awareness rally as a part of Har Ghar Turanga campaign, Tricolors, were distributed to students of the Patsoi Patwant, Pat 2, the Kok Junior Primary School, Makhalaikai, and and Virjit Higher Secondary School, Makhalaikai, and also to villagers of the area. Ahead of the 18th Foundation Day of the Army Wing of prescribed KCP, Miyamgi Fingang Lanmi, MFL tomorrow, Military Affairs Committee, MAC of MFL KCP, wishes the people of Manipur and Vaishyant reasons undergrounds, groups, civil society organizations, intellectuals, media persons, health workers, artists, sportspersons and students. Press release from MAC underlined on respecting our history and the importance of having a vision and direction for a better society. A cultural troops comprising 12 artists of Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy who will showcase Manipuri cultural programs including Thangta in five countries. The cultural troops is leaving Imphal tomorrow. Ahead of the trip, artists of the cultural troops led by Manipur Dance Academy director P. Vilash offered prayers at Ibudo Chakaba shrine in the academy campus. Speaking on the sideline, P. Vilas said the cultural troops will visit Mauritius, Madagascar, South Africa, Botswana, and Swaziland. Zolan and Rumani put dance academy artist Tarani Twinus Hava, Kungbu Oma, Worldly, Country Mapam Mangada, Hying Dagi, Tadu Okanda, September Gitang, Marigumuda, Hoi Infalda Muhalakani, Hari Bakungset Asida, Artisting Asina Ulubamatamda, Sobi Nambi the Nebuka, Zenmani put dance academy, Sibu Kon Biriba, Ibudo Sakaba, Imalila Lemeda, Aquina, Tony Javani, Hari Bakungset Asida, Aquina Ulugodoriba for Gamsing Adudi, Lai Haroboda, My Bizagoi, Kambatoibi, Kabui Jagoi, Pung Solom, Don Solom, Tangta, Amadi, Rasli Lana Singba, Equigi Manipur Culture, Papami Ut Ugodoribani. And in sports news, in the sixth MNCA played cricket tournament being organized under the aegis of Manipur Cricket Association, RCC Churachanpur defeated YAC Yes School by three wickets in a league match played today at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium in Luang Sangbund. Betting first, YAC Yes School scored 77 runs, losing all 10 wickets in 26 overs and four balls without completing the stipulated 35 overs. In reply, RCC Churachanpur easily reached the target of 78. Eight runs in 18 overs and four bowls. With a fold of four wickets, RCC's old rounders 
Hausa Land Kipgend, who took three wickets and scored 21 runs, was declared player of the match. Napsa Kha Imphal was crowned. Well, that's all we have in this bulletin, but before we wind up, let's take a glimpse at the headlines once again. All Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motor Workers Union inspect National Highway 37 in Paljiri Road. Road stretch found in pathetic condition despite of the government's assurance to restore the highway. Transport Minister Kashim Vashum says state government has no plan to scrap the vehicles older than 15 years in Manipur. Joint Students Coordination Committee burns down the Amar Chitrakatha comic books for misleading readers. JSCC says Indian independence movement and Manipur freedom struggles are not related. Manipur logs 18 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and two COVID-related deaths in the last 24 hours. Coronavirus infects 1,39,490 people in the state until now. India adds 16,561 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 cases, 18,053 recoveries and 49 deaths in the last 24 hours. And Chief Minister Nongkorn Birin says the assimilation of all peoples can be achieved only through inculcating the idea of nation first. Thank you so much for being with us. Coming up next is Prime Time Manipur Bulletin. In the meantime, for more news and information, please do not hesitate to follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Until then, have a great evening and always stay safe.